Random, random things. Random things. Random, random things. things. Random, random things. things. Random things. Random things. things. Random 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 things.
because if you do it unevenly, it will get skewed and it will be harder to do uh, until it doesn't move any further this way. Now, of course, the back is in the wrong place, the, uh, this strap here. So what I do is I push the book like so. And at this point, what I normally do to get a nice even back is to crimp the top edge of the spine, just to give it a little bit more of a fold, not a very sharp fold. Of course, one could sort of measure these things beforehand and make a really sharp fold, but I like just doing it like this because that is fine. One doesn't have to do that, but if you don't, there'll be a little bit of a curved plastic at the back. Um, now, this is also an interesting, crucial bit. Uh, normally, now I just fold over here to measure. So I'm folding, I'm just folding around the back cover. And what I see now is that the inside of the plastic gets so close to this corner that it might actually get in the way when you're trying to do this fold later. So we'll have to trim this a little bit. Uh, another thing is that the wide part of the fold here, now the, uh, see it goes into the strap and that will expand and make it wavy. So that will have to be cut into a little bit. So what I do is I have a good pair of sharp scissors. I trim the leading edge just a little bit as necessary. And then to make sure that the white bit here doesn't go into and stay in the strap area itself, I trim this a little bit. Cool. Like so. And then I put this inside the strap. And I just push it down a little bit right on the edge here. I'm not doing that accurately right away. Um, then I turn it around and I crimp the back corner of the spine. Like so. Again, to make it a nice and neat and even back. Now, of course, I can push it a little bit that way. So the only thing remaining to do is to do the last fold here. And what I do is I'm pushing my finger down on the inside and up on the outside and pushing it tight against the edge of the book. I'm not lifting it too much when I do this because then it will get bent in the wrong place. It has to be close to being a closed book. Uh, you don't want the book to stay open once you've done this. So I'm doing this like so. Then I can sort of push it down a little bit. Let's make it nice and neat. And if this is done right now, the book will lie flat. It will not open too much on its own accord. Uh, it will be nice and even. And the spine will, plastic on the spine will be relatively flat against the book because of the crimping. If you don't do the crimping, it will be a little bit of a curvature sticking out. And there you have it. That's how you put on a plastic cover on a book. And this will, of course, now be much more durable. Uh, the plastic is holding the book back from being bent too much that way, which protects the spine. And of course, it protects the front, the back. It protects it from getting folded or dented in the corners and it will make the book last much longer. There you have it. Plastic covers. Works like a charm. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.